it didn't, it didn't quite go according to plan, our race. We, we actually got a good start and uh, held, held a good lane out to the left-hand side, um, and I think we're third at the first mark, but then uh, made a couple of mistakes on the on the next lap that, that really put us in a pretty bad position. That's looking good. <laughs> really uh, only there for Nasher and for Elliot and they just came off the blocks flying today they were really fast the breeze was up uh, probably around 14 15 knots and they um, they uh, they just mowed the fleet down they led around the first mark and extended from there basically our goal was to get off the line and assess where we were at the women mark to see whether we were in with a chance of winning or not and as soon as that we went we won round the women marks and then we went for the win basically and uh, to keep everyone else behind us and that was good enough to win. The important thing I think building into into Qingdao is gonna be the the British squad is quite a close closed unit and I think that's good and, and you're right, I mean the fact that they've uh, proved how good they are, you know, winning the world championships again is fantastic. Uh, that's you know this is a great thing for everybody. We um, you know we've got uh, two boats that are world class. I mean Nick and Joe were halfway through the event. They had the they were in the gold medal position. They had a tough day yesterday where uh, you know the wind just didn't go their way, and uh, but they know they can do it, and they've got even more chance now.